What is up Kilo Crew and welcome to today's video. Today Randy and I are walking the streets of Tala in County Dublin, Ireland where we are heading to a place called Street Burger which is owned by the same folks who own yesterday's restaurant Woodfire and Wings. But anywho, we are about to take on a massive burger and hot dog and chicken sandwich mega challenge thing. It's going to be absolutely massive. Yummy. We know it's going to be delicious because they crushed it at Woodfire and Wings yesterday. So. We are both very, very hungry, very excited, and we will, of course, catch you guys at Street Burger Takeaway when the food challenge arrives. challenge has arrived here in front of me at Street Burger here in Tala. I am so nervous but so excited. Now this is called the Mega Menu Challenge because we're basically sampling the menu here. I have like two of everything. I have two of their fully loaded hot dogs which I will go into detail over in the voiceover. One of them is one of their barbecue bacon dogs. The other is their street dog. I also have a thing of their loaded chicken tenders which are a bit different than the ones that I had last night at Woodfire and Wings. These ones are covered in cheese and bacon. Along the way I also have four of their hand dipped massive onion rings which I'm really looking forward to because you guys know I love me some onion rings. I'm also going to be doing one of each of their burgers that are here. Now both of them are double cheeseburgers but one of which does feature some bacon on it and it is absolutely smothered and healthy veggies and their secret sauce as well. So really looking forward to tucking into those. I'm also doing one of their classic crispy chicken sandwiches and then one of their charbroiled chicken sandwiches which sounds healthy. I'm basically dieting because one of them is charbroiled. But along the way I'm also going to enjoy me, it is included in the challenge, one of their strawberry shortcake milkshakes which sounds absolutely divine. Now I'm going to have one hour to finish all of this that you see in front of me. If I'm successful I do get the 80 euro meal for free. I do get a groovy t-shirt and I do get my name and photo up on the wall of fame here at Street Burger. As usual I'm very nervous but also very excited. There ain't nothing to it but to do it. Let's pull our hair back and get this challenge started. I don't know if I know what I want to start with. I better start with one of these burgers. All right, one, two, three, burger eating time. Here we go. Oh, this thing is bigger than me. Oh boy. Oh. Wow. Wow, indeed. Just look at all that sauce there, Kilo Crew. <laughs> Anyways, welcome to the video. That is unreal. Yeah, this burger was cooked to absolute perfection. I'm talking melt in your mouth, perfect like sauce to burger ratio. <sighs> I'm drooling thinking about it. Final bite of the first burger, which was the classic burger. Mm. Mm. Good, but messy. You guys know how I feel about that. All right, time for the bacon. Ooh. Basically a redux of the classic burger with all the caramelized onions, just slap on some more bacon. Yes ma'am. Even though this was day three in a row of doing food challenges, I was cruising through this at this point. It was so yummy. I was loving every bit of this, even though I was probably ready for a good salad. Final bite of the bacon burger. Mm. That is so good. Mad props to Mo. Big thank you to Ian, Rory, Paul for having us out here. We knew it was going to be good after wood fire and wings was that good. And this is not disappointing. All right, let's try some of these onion rings. And these suckers were absolute monsters. I was kind of questioning it when they said only four came to an order, but then when I saw them in person, I understood. When I say mega onion ring, I mean it like. I'm pretty sure these onion rings could, you know, double as some sort of life-saving flotation device. I mean, take a look at that. But anyway, they were absolutely delicious and went really well with all of the different secret sauces. All right. Let's get in on this charbroiled chicken sandwich. I heard this is one of the owner's favorite sandwiches on the entire menu and it looks amazing. Sands the red onions, but it still looks delicious anyway. Cheers. The chicken was almost like a tandoori style seasoning and then there was so much sauce on there, the onions really didn't even matter. Bruh. There's really no better way to uh, describe it, not to trigger anyone, but this was definitely a very uh, moist chicken breast. <laughs> You know what? I'm gonna try my 
my first sip of this strawberry shortcake milkshake. Double C thick, but absolutely loaded with flavor. Now that is absolutely beautiful. Next up, we're gonna go with the classic crispy chicken sandwich, covered in cheese, all sorts of goodness. Definitely not fattening. Calories don't exist here at Street Burger, so come here anyway. <laughs> joke fell a little bit flat there and so did the sarcasm, but as per usual, this was a fantastic southern fried chicken burger. This is so good. 10 out of 10 recommend just ordering all this. I don't know about all in one trip, but maybe over several visits order all of that, because all at once, it was a lot. All right, let's finish off these onion rings. They are delightful, but I feel like I want to enjoy them while they're nice and hot. Let's try some of this mystery sauce here in the back. Everything is secret ingredients, because it's all house made. Mm. I don't know what I'm getting, but I like that. Yeah, I really didn't question the different sauces that they had put on the tray in front of me. I'm typically the kind of gal that probably over sauces the side items, but oh well, I love them. Final bite of onion ring, and now I understand why only four or five come in an order. That's a lot of onion ring. Mm. All right, let's down some of these cheesy bacon loaded tenders. Yum. These suckers were heavy. As delicious as they were, the cheese really weighed these guys down as it kind of hardened over time. How are the cheesy? The cheese is very thick, but it's very yummy. Mm -hmm. These are very heavy in addition to everything else. Yeah, and this is about where you could tell this was a day three in a row of eating a lot of food. All right, final bite of the loaded tenders. <laughs> That was actually the crowd reacting to a toddler shunning Randy. Little refresher of strawberry shortcake. Mm -hmm. So good. On to the barbecue bacon dog. This one is, uh, it's long. Uh, try it. There was really no way to avoid the, uh, the oncoming jokes. That's real nice. But either way, this thing was absolutely loaded with that bacon, which made it a little on the chewy side, and it took a really long time to get down. I'm doing some of my go-to club and dance moves to work this down. We're about halfway through the shake, a little over halfway through the barbecue bacon dog, and then all there is is the street dog, and I say all there is, and that's, like I said, a massive, easy-peasy lemon squeezy. On we go. A little overconfidence there, but anyways, I'm going to leave you guys to enjoy the rest of the video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. I keep getting shortbread stuck in my straw here. Mm. But anywho, back to the street dog, which is topped in anything that you can imagine that sounds delicious. Here we go. Okay, that is lovely. I don't know if I'd want to eat this on a date night because it's a little messy, but it's very good. thing off the menu here. Not nine. Um. All right, final bite of the hot dog onto the shake. All right, this may not quite be the Guinness chug I am now known for around the world, but slaunch everyone. Here's to a delicious uh, strawberry shake. and seven seconds was my final time to defeat the mega menu challenge here at Street Burger. And wow, that was mega. But the, the food was also on point. That was amazing to try everything across the menu. If you come here, definitely try yourself one of the hot dogs, definitely try yourself one of the burgers, and definitely, definitely, definitely try one of those chicken burgers, whether charbroiled and healthy like I had, or uh, crispy, all delicious. Onion rings were massive. The shake was beautiful. I'm probably gonna for real leave no doubt and just stick my hand slash head in there like Winnie the Pooh 
in a little bit. But for winning, I do get the 80 year old meal for free. I do get a groovy t-shirt to add to my collection, which I actually have on hand today. And you'll get a delightful photo with it at the end of the video as well. And also have my name and photo up on the wall of fame. But anyways, thank you to everyone here who cheered me on. A big thank you to Ian and Rory and Paul, all here at Street Burger. And a big thank you to you guys for watching. I will see you guys, of course, in the next video. Okay, peace out, bye. Yeah.